What's up YouTube, Bob Power Gamers there, welcome to the channel. Getting into today's video, I'm going to be talking about the MC Clubhouse businesses, which the MC Clubhouse businesses you should invest in, what you can do for the businesses, and which one's going to be the best businesses. The first thing you should have for this is you need a motorcycle clubhouse. The reason I'm making this video is the motorcycle clubhouse businesses are double cash and RP right now, so take advantage of that. And I got this motorcycle clubhouse up here. These are pretty cheap, honestly. They're like two hundred ten thousand dollars to get started here. You're never gonna really be there like once unless you like hanging out closer to town. They do cost more money, but the inner workings of the MC clubhouse is where it really comes in shine over here guys but so let me go ahead and fly out to my mc clubhouse and i also recommend buying a knock club if you do have mc clubhouse businesses because you can make a lot of money off of that okay i've made it over here to my crappy ran down motorcycle clubhouse just like any garage you walk into trying to get your car fixed for cheap nothing really special in here guys you got some counters on the wall, some naked women, just shit like that. You got the generic overused GTA interior, but you can modify this and make it look better. That's just, I don't really recommend it for obvious reasons. But coming over here to this laptop is how you actually go ahead and modify and set up your businesses. It's actually going to make you some legitimate money. <laughs> okay, you're going to be logging in this website called the Open Road. The only thing you can do from here is buy businesses. You can only own five businesses at a time. And let me show you the process of businesses. These businesses do range in value, but most of them are within 10, 15 percent of each other. One business is not better than the other as far as like location wise. Like if you pay one million for that, seven hundred thousand for that, you're literally just gonna get the same amount of money. The only thing different is just convenience of travel. Puerto Bay businesses being the worst one because you rarely ever get some supply missions up there, and you have to sell your shit from moving top of the map down here. But uh, the only thing that you can really do with these businesses from here is literally you can only buy them right here. Screw that's all you need your MC Clubhouse for is to buy those and request your motorcycles from the inventory now let me show you guys how you can actually make money out of these businesses here and how you resupply them and sell your stock you have uh you have three methods for dealing with here and real quick more on the motorcycle club president if you buy this here you can request your motorcycles and you have a uh, club work here you have to go near your computer over here to start some separate club work but let me get over here and show you how you resupply these businesses uh, to basically set these businesses up, after you buy them, they're going to show up all over the map. OGT is going to call. He does get very annoying, guys. It's best to not be registered as a motorcycle club president unless you need to resupply your stuff because you do risk getting raided and he will keep calling. So let's come over here. I believe this here is a meth lockup, maybe. And all my businesses are fully upgraded. I do recommend upgrading all of your businesses just because they are less. We swap with to get raided. You can get more out of them and stuff. And you got some bodyguards here. This guy standing up here watching these people down here. The math lab. But pretty much you normally have a lot of people in here working. The business is ready to go right here. So I'm just paying these guys to stand around for no reason. But if you do not have a terabot or an arcade master terminal, more than that in a second, this is how you will set up your businesses. But come over here, you'll buy the come over here and you do a setup mission it's whether you pick a car up you drop it off nothing special and you can resupply from right here every time to resupply it's seventy five thousand dollars where you can sell your supplies resupply is a waste of money if you ask me you can sell your stock over here you have two locations one in Blaine County and you have another location over here one in Los Santos so it's really just up to you what the buyer wants to pay it's just user preference you want to take that risk but basically you have to go to every single business and do it individually unless you get a terabot where if you get a master terminal to arcade i'm going to fly to my terabot show you what you can do out of a terabot i want you get a terabot here this is basically where you operate it, it out of here this works for your not club and it's every one of your businesses i believe well you're not club is on the own here but every every business is so you go to Valkyrie supplies and you can resupply everything from out of a terabot here and you can even use your terabots as a safe mean, means of travels and stuff that way it won't get blown up because it will take 30 missiles However, you cannot sell anything from here. Let me move over to the arcade, the master terminal, which I recommend everybody investing in. That's where I'm going to be showing you guys how much each business makes and which business you should invest in, in my personal pick and my personal preference on the businesses.
also a benefit of the master terminal is you can buy sell supplies and even upgrade supplies and you can do it for every single business you own in the game so the master terminal is worth the 1.2 to 1.8 million dollars that it would cost okay guys moving on over to my arcade over here if you purchase the master terminal it's gonna be pretty much right up here but the house planning boards you need to be registered with different CEOs to ask to see every business is here. So you have every business in the game right here all in one place. So this is very worth doing. Let me show you what East Business makes here. And I'll talk about the knock club and sum the video up. So these businesses are, are pretty much in order here on the list. What pays the best and goes for the worst here. With the exception of the counterfeit cash for you will pay more than a weed wipe. But cocaine walk up number one is the highest paying business here. You'll get the most bang for your buck out of here. And right here, these are double cast RP with words at the time we're making this video, so expect cast normally. The highest bidder is $840,000, so split that in half on normal days. And as for resupplying this business here, we do you only have to resupply it three times, so it would be worth buying supplies for this business, but you will be spending $75,000 each supply around, so I recommend stealing supplies. Moving on over to the second best business. I'm going to be my favorite. We got the meth lab over here with Cousin Jenny. And right here, you can resupply, buy your upgrades here. Let's go to self stock. $714,000. $714,000 over here for the highest bidder. Again, you can buy supplies for this business. It's starting to cut more into your profits here. And the counterfeit cash forgery over here. Let's see what we got here. The counterfeit cash forgery comes in third, so it's cocaine lab, meth lab, counterfeit cash forgery, and you got the weed lab over here. $188,000 to the highest bidder over here. We all love us some um, counterfeit cash over here. For all of your businesses, I do recommend fully upgrading them if you do plan to keep them resupplied and sell stuff. But if you don't want to do that, you can just purchase all these businesses, do the setup mission, and just leave them dry, and you can let your not club do the rest. Well, the knock club and the motorcycle clubhouse businesses are separate things. This knock club just takes your stock from here with some crap, but you can do it at the knock club as well. But the knock club does it for you, so let me show you what I'm talking about. If you buy a knock club over here, you can buy technicians over here, and these technicians, you just assign them to whatever thing over here. So if you want him to get meth, you want him to get weed, you want him to get printing, you go, that's going to be doing in here. And let me show you what I mean here. Hey, as for your knock club here, basically the only way I can really explain it is you buy and you assign these technicians. That's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. On my personal picks, I would just get cocaine, meth, and the counterfeit cast forgery if you're just starting out. And I'm going to really get those other ones if you're looking for some extra money. Or if you invest in an knock club and just run them run it like that. As for the document forgery, you're better off just doing a contact mission with some random low levels at that point. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that lock button. Let's go for a walk of 100 locks. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you're confusing anything. And subscribe to the channel for notification zone so you can see more ways to get $42 million like I have in the corner. And I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Have a great day. Between the lines. Last nigga, we got busy, don't got hit between the eyes.